it is all in the mind. Sex is in the mind. So, and I, I had a lot of, I actually didn't have time. Siku na yo time ya kumbau. Niju vitu zimepangana, you know, back to back. Zatu wa ilikuwa ngumu. So mtu wangu hapa hivi ndani ya Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and as you can see mzee mwenyewe Terence ameweza kurudi bana kutoka mji wa Qatar so tunataka tujue mambo imekuwa aje kule tumeona ameenda amepeleka mambo yake kwa train wamepiga mambwembwe <laughs> vipi vipi salama sana yes habari ya Qatar Qatar kuzuri tunashukuru mm, safari imekuwa njema na tumerudi vizuri yeah. yeah na timu yetu ikashinda timu gani Cameroon kwa nimeambia Cameroon iweze kwa kelea yeah. ndio team tunategemea hapa ya nini sorry yeah. ya ya Africa yeah. yes okay. experience imekuwaje Terence experience imekuwa njema uh -huh. uh, eh, chakula ni mzuri weather si mbaya sasa hivi kuna kuwa na joto sijai enda nasikiaga uh -huh. kuna kuwa na joto lakini sasa hivi joto si mingi uh -huh. yeah <laughs> okay Terence yes. um uh, always seems wa ku travel like um, ni mse umetoka sana ukaenda Dubai ukaenda wapi but i would like to know what did you find so unique about Qatar kuliko hizo countries zingine umeenda I think uh, what really captures me is the systems. Yeah. Every everywhere I go na endaga na kutaka kuna systems poa barabara ni poa those are the things that captures me. Na na kuaga zikinibamba and I so wish and I know we are, we are we are headed there as a country we will get there. But what what really captures me is uh, infrastructure the system sheria uko iko clear uko wezi na kuvunja vunja sheria venye unataka and also you remember when the Qatar wa in before they they start the world cup policy are very clear uh, as much as what we ngino na ko invited from the world they still maintain their their principles and and their you know their cultures kuna zile eh sheria zimoa guide kama mambo ya pombe mambo ya kutoingia kwa room na mtu ambaye amona but nini marriage certificate pamoja so na unakuta ni vitu zimefuatiliwa ni ni ngumu kuhongana eh so that is really what interest me Yeah. Kwa kule tuliona uko na mafansi wengi sana. Tuko unasikia yes. tu eh ngamwaya papa Fred uli feel aje kupata uko na mafansi. Ni feel poa sana, ni feel poa sana. We were actually when I came from South Africa we were planning um, tour huko ya kuenda Qatar eh, na Dubai but hatukuwa iweza kuenda. But we are planning something for for Kenyans and um, nimekutana na wakenya wengi sana huko. And I, I actually said on my stories I feel so bad when I see Kenyans working hard there. They send money to people here in Kenya na watu wanakula pesa zao. Actually that is the message I came to tell people. Yeah. Wa Kenya wenye wako huku relatives aunties wewe ni bibi ama ni bwana mtu wako anafanya kazi huko anakutumianga pesa kazi yako ni kukula pesa yake mtu anajua akirudi huku amebaiyo ame ploti ama atakuwa kijengeo nyumba ama mtoto wake amelipio school fees ama any other development ama atafungua biashara then sadly when they come here after all that unakuta mtu amekula pesa yake that's actually what really hurt me and i was talking to a lot of kenyans and i mbia manze tuko poa lakini saa zingine na kuaga challenge and then pia wasi wa nyumbani tunawekea watu wa UAE a lot of expectation. Manze pia ule ni mtu akona life yake anatengeneza do yake msimpige pressure mob because those guys and I want to congratulate all Kenyans in the UAE. Nimeona wa Qatar nilienda Dubai nikawaona these people are working so 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 hard. Let's respect their hustle and respect their money. That's actually the message I came with from Qatar. Mtu anakutumia pesa. Anafanya kazi huko hivi warabuni. Tafadhali heshimu hiyo pesa. Heshimu hiyo pesa na ifanye ile kazi imekusudiwa kufanya. Tusikule pesa ya Mkenya ambaye anafanya kazi huko na umekatu hapa. It's very sad because I spoke with a few Kenyans wakaniambia inauma. Inauma sana. Yeah. Tukizungumzia Qatar Terence, yes. uh, it's a country yenye iki host World Cup. Uh, watu walikuwa na different opinions because walikuwa nasema the stadium zimejengwa na watu walifanyishwa forced labor and stuff unaona. Na we mwenyewe kama mtu umekuwa kwa hiyo the same place wenye tumeona so many bodies za Kenya zikiritan kutoka huko tunazipokea ngapi hivi JKA like what was your ni vile ulifika huko Qatar like ulifila jedu did you see maybe kuna vitu kama hizo zinaendelea ama tu zinakuangani story it's so it's so hard to tell because i've been there for a few days it's so hard to tell all these details because those are details so i can't speak of details that i'm not sure of uh, 
and um, I've, I've seen cases of course kuna cases but for me specifically sikuweza kupekuwa ndani niweze kupata hiyo info so i can't tell of an information that i don't have at hand Yes. Okay. Ukitokanga hapa hivi uh, ulienda huko pia ukapiga kiateka. Mm. Uh, ukasema kiateka amefika Qatar like yes. how are those guys free na mtu yote kuingia na kushoot content yake? Ah uh, imekuwa rahisi sana sababu kulikuwa na wa Cameroon pia huko Afrika wamevaa kama wachawi so hawajui kama niko. Au oh, actually mm. <laughs> tulikutana na kuna Arabu tumekutana nao hapo kwa metro. Mm. Metro ndio train. Mm. <laughs> so wanadhani si mi uvaa hivyo hawa <laughs> juu ni character so i have to take them through the <laughs> my instagram na wakani follow na wakani wakabambika uh, i really wanted to take yateka to 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 qatar uh, because i took uh, papa fred to south africa i've taken the abdallah to somewhere i've taken kamami i want all all my characters to be uh, visiting different country when i go Yeah so most of the team was tumekuwa kitravel na mili sasa ukimefika huko ukiwa peke yako maybe ulikuwa na challenges kupanga nguo kufanya nini uh, kuna vitu labda ulipitia kidogo na pia upatie mili message <laughs> <laughs> My wife is very patient thank you so much yeye ndiye aliniorganizea before I left bibi yangu alikuwa amepanga kila kitu siku saa kila kitu imepangwa vizuri eh nilikuwa challenge ilikuwa tu kidogo <laughs> ya timing mimi nakuwa gasa zingine na timing inaweza nitoa off na kukumbuka vitu but we kept in tabs na nilitamani kuenda na yes eh, sana but she also had some engagement hata saa hii tukiongea kwa event amekuwa na events over the last three days so ingekuwa ngumu for all of us to travel together but hii nimemde present jupia yeye kuna mali ataenda probably next week na ataniacha pia mimi ya ndotao ngeleza tukifika huko kwa huko na ukaacha mamu watoto labda yes ah labda gubla haanza kalama juu ya bibi ah it is all in the mind sex is in the mind so and i had a lot of i actually didn't have time siku na hiyo time ya kumbao ni juu vitu zimepangana you know back to back sasa ilikuwa ngumu Yeah. Na na nakumbuka the time yeah. yenye ulikuanga hapa hivi hapo ataki kusindikisha ukielekea Qatar. Yeah. Yeye yeah, alisema mwanzi atakumiss ni na nini mm. wewe pia did you have your ah, miss? Definitely huyu ni mtu yangu. Ni part of part yani ni support system. Nili yeah. <laughs> miss mbaya. Yeah. <laughs> Tu song. Uh, Hata sijamsikia. Alisema amepeleka wasanii wafai kupelekwa jina oh yeah yeah mepe, kuna wenye amepeleka ye oh sawa sawa unajua hizi tusiongelee vitu zielewi unajua ukiongelea peleka watu alafu then we come we talk yeah. eh, so that one i cannot get into detail yeah. <laughs> by the way msiniingize kwa hivi vitu vyangu na KRG <laughs> but <laughs> apeleke watu pia ndio asikie so, so sijui reason yake ya kusema hivyo ni nini because we are brand partners to to Odibet so we can't be telling people of an experience that we have not experienced ourselves. Siezi katua pa Kenya kama brand partner wa wa Odibets naongelea Qatar ama World Cup na mimi mwenyewe sijaona. Alikuwa na reason ya kusema hivyo. Lakini Karija kuna do. Eh. Ah, Karija kuna do. Ana mimi ana challenge asiende alipiwa tu 50. Karija kuna do. Eh, asiende peke yake. Atafute tu genge yake ya buga apeleke watu 50. Eh hey, akona do. Yeah. Kiaji akona do. Na mimi najua atapeleka watu 50. Si tuko na nyinyi hapa. Eh hey, Kiaji peleka watu 50 yeah. pale Qatar. Eh yeah. hey, walipia hospitality, yeah. walipia business, unacheki. Yeah. Na najua Kiaji, mimi ju najua kona pesa, atawapeleka. Yeah. Si tuko na nyinyi hapa. Yeah. Asipopeleka, mumkuje mumuulize mbona. Yeah. Akona pesa. Eh hey, Kiaji peleka watu 50 Qatar. Yeah. Okay, sasa Terence thank Asante. you so much Asante for your time. Wacha nikimbie niungane na mama. Sasa. Sa. <laughs>